The Thing, science fiction horror at its best. Hi, I'm Gary Lovisi, and we're going to be talking about uh, a few things about the, the movie and the book, The Thing. Um, the last episode, I discussed Cherry Tree Books fantasy series in which The Thing from Another World paperback was, uh, was mentioned. And, uh, you know, me being such a book person, I didn't even mention, like, the fact that the movies had been made and the other different editions and stuff. So I want to talk about all of that now and kind of put it into perspective. The uh, the thing from another world is the British cherry tree book that uh, I mentioned in the uh, previous episode. It's uh, number four. Um, that's a good idea. Let me see. It's number four. 08 from about 1950 and uh, this is the uh, movie tie-in with the with the movie with the alien and the ice um, the thing is is that uh, the original movie uh, the thing from another world was from 1951 and then there were of course uh, John Carpenter's the thing uh, in 1982, which um, uh, kind of uh, told the story uh, in, in a modern way with uh, great special effects. And there was also the thing in 2011, which was a prequel to the, to the uh, story. The whole thing is, is that this is about an alien that's found in the Antarctic and uh, the, the battle between humans and this alien. One of the, uh, in the United States, the book was published is who goes there which was the actual title of the 1938 pulp story uh, the story was uh, was in, was in a uh, pulp magazine and um, it was a short it was a short uh, novel and it's in this book who goes there by John W Campbell jr it's Dell number D 150 from 1954 it has a Richard Powers cover art and uh, a, a very interesting um, Theodore Sturgeon uh, introduction. Uh, it's really a cool book. This is a beautiful, beautiful copy. On the back has a picture of John W. Campbell. He was the editor of Astounding Stories, the premier science fiction magazine of the 40s, 50s, and 60s, and uh, wrote some great stuff. Uh, this this book contains six stories, and uh, the story about the thing is who goes is, is titled "Who Goes There," so they they took the title of the uh, that that story for the title of the book. Um, it was published uh, as a uh, Shasta book hardcover in 1955. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have that, but. Um, you can see that there's two very interesting books. This is an extremely pricey book, uh, $500, $1,000, it's crazy, like what people are asking for really nice copies of this. Uh, this one is a, is a, is a, is a, can be a five or $10 book or a 20 or $30 book in really nice condition. The interesting thing is, of course, you know, you had the thing from another world. It was made into the 1951 film with, uh, with James Arness as the monster. Then you had John Carpenter's The Thing in 1982 with, um, with uh, um, you know, uh, which, which, up, which updated the, uh, the movie with, with great special effects. Then you had The Thing in 2011, which was a prequel to the, um, to these stories, kind of telling how, how it came to happen and, and all of that. Uh, it's very interesting that there's a little more to the story, uh, at least as far as uh, I'm concerned with the writing, because I'm a book guy, so I'm really going to take a more of a book uh, slant on things. Um, very interesting book that has recently come out from Wildside Press, John Betancourt's outfit, is Frozen Hell. Now, the thing with this is, this is from... Uh, uh, Wildside Press, and there'll be some information uh, in the description about this. This is a new book that just came out in 2019. It's a hardcover and a trade paperback. 
uh, editions. Uh, Bob Eggleton uh, did the, uh, the cover art and uh, Robert Silverberg did the introduction. Uh, the hardcover is $29.99 and uh, it's 158 pages in the hardcover or trade paperback. Really nice, nice cover art and uh, interior art. This jacket. Really, really nice. And the trade paperback has the same cover art. And here's the people that contributed to it. So, the thing with this is that this was a story that Campbell wrote uh, when he was around 25 years old. Well, before he wrote uh, Who Goes There, he had different versions of it, and he was working the process out in his head, figuring out how he was going to do this story, tell this story. And um, he did about six versions, uh, early versions of it. They kind of never gelled. They didn't, uh, they didn't work. But then there was a later version that, uh, uh, in the 30s that he wrote that was... Um, basically a, a, a novel and it told like a, a, a longer and, and much more detailed uh, description of what happened in the events in the story with the alien and its fighting in the Antarctic uh, against uh, the humans. Um, so this is, this is actually a longer and detailed version that actually preceded these two books. And it's being, it was found after six decades of being lost in, uh, in, in, a, uh, in the papers of a, of a university or in a, in a uh, storage area. And um, it's a very cool book. Um, the trade paperback is also available. And... Um, there's also a, a promised anthology of stories based on this book by other writers. That has yet to appear. But in the meantime, Prose and Hell kind of uh, adds to the story of the thing from another world and the uh, original Campbell title of Who Goes There. So this is kind of, uh, I wanted to kind of uh, explain all of this because I, I mentioned this book yesterday in the... Uh, in the uh, fantasy books episode. And uh, I says, you know, I gotta talk about the movie, I gotta talk about Frozen Hell, about the American edition, and all of this bring it all together uh, and a little more cohesively. So I hope that at least this, this information uh, is, is you've found useful, found interesting. Uh, you, can, you can buy this book now from Wildside Press. Um, I'll put their uh, information in the description below. And, um, I hope you like this uh, kind of addendum to the uh, uh, video we did yesterday. Uh, I think uh, I think it's cool that all of these that this book has been uh, published. I haven't read it yet. But I'm really looking forward to and it's uh, to doing so. And it's, uh, it's on the top of the to read pile and the must read pile. And uh, again, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, here's the books. Uh, take one more look at them. Give us, a, give us a thumbs up and a like if you like this video and please subscribe and uh, tell your friends about, uh, about what we're doing here on YouTube with, uh, with books and uh, rare books, vintage paperbacks, collectible paperbacks. Uh, we've done some uh, uh, tours of bookstores. Uh, we're going to do a future uh, uh, an event, uh, a book show. That we're going to uh, do a tour of and uh, and many more really really cool items on the agenda so uh again subscribe give us a thumbs up and a like and i hope you enjoyed this and i'm gary lavisi and uh thanks for listening